video was inspired by a meme that I saw which said either there's going to be a baby boom in nine months or a heck of a lot more divorce. It did get me thinking that perhaps we need to be investing more time in our relationships so that at least the divorce part doesn't happen. We don't want any split scenes over here. Today I'm going to throw at you all of my date night ideas that you can do while stuck inside, quarantine, self-isolation, whatever you want to call it, so that you can make sure that you weather the storm with your partner in tip-top shape. If you're new here, my name is Julie and I teach moms how to schedule their time, organize their lives and change their mindset so that they can focus on what matters most for them and their family. If you haven't done so already, I would be so grateful if you could go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell, give this video a thumbs up. And with all of that said, let's get started. Stay tuned for the end of the video where I share my framework that I think is really helpful when it comes to relationships and making sure that you are investing the right amount of time with the right person. Okay, so my first tip, I have a whole bunch, uh, is to start cooking together, whether that's in some kind of special recipe that you're going to do or you're going to cook together to create like a date night at home. It's really fun to learn a new skill, uh, to kind of share a new interest with each other and then ultimately you can eat what you make which is pretty cool. It's also really nice to set the table, light a candle, give yourself some nice ambiance and really make an effort because I think a lot of the time when it comes to our partners, especially when you're stuck inside and the days are just kind of weaving in with one another, we're not paying as much attention to who really is most important to us and putting in the effort as if you were dating them, especially if you've been with someone for a long time. The thing with date night is to try and put on something a little nicer in terms of your clothes, put on some high heels, maybe put on a little bit of makeup. But when you're in the house all the time and you're like just sitting there, there's no need to dress up really, there's no reason to get up and look pretty, but the most important reason is that you're doing it for your partner. So if makeup or doing your hair or something is what you would normally do on a date night, then it might be nice to put in the effort, uh, get dressed and make it really special. Plus, you're saving so much time by not going anywhere, you definitely have a little more time to get ready. Get outside if you can. So if you're stuck in lockdown, you might have limited options. We don't have a backyard area, but we can go outside on our balcony, have some wine, kind of make it a little more special, especially after the kids go to bed. Also, if you live in a building and you can have access to a roof or something like that, that might be quite fun to go and do that. You might have to do that with your kids if you have kids. If you don't have kids, then that's awesome. Even if you go outside, on the grass, take a picnic blanket, sit outside, have some wine, just kind of talk. That really makes a difference to make it a little bit more special than just the normal stuff, which for us is like eating as we make food, standing up and eating, the kids are eating and we're just like not sitting down and making it an occasion. And I think that's what differentiates just regular everyday life to something that's a little bit more special, like a date night. I think this is also a really great opportunity while no one can do anything and go outside and you don't really have FOMO because no one's doing anything. Um, but this is a great opportunity to get your board games out if you have. Uh, I think playing Twister with your partner would be really funny and fun. Uh, card games can get really competitive and fun and kind of bring out you know, the child in you a little bit. So if you have any board games, dust them off, bring them out and spend some time playing together versus just like watching TV all the time. Speaking of TV, all right, it's a classic. Definitely spend time cuddling on the couch, watch a special movie that maybe brings back good memories for you guys. Maybe you watch the first movie that you watched together so that you can remember the, the good old days. You know, that might be really fun. Or going through those movies that you've always wanted to watch together that you've never really had an opportunity to. And this could be your time where you catch up on all of that stuff. But make sure that it's special. Get a blanket, get some snacks cuddle on the couch, and then make it a big deal. Then something a little more out there, so it might not be for everybody, but on the self-care train, I think it could be really nice um, and bonding to meditate with your partner. So my husband and I took a meditation course last year. We actually had to switch off, so like one of us watched the kids while the other one went to the course, that kind of thing. But now we kind of learned how to meditate, and this is something that we do together sometimes, and definitely we should be doing it more. So now that we're at home more, we're kind of forced to be together, it's really good to meditate, kind of reset. Not only is it really good for you as a person to meditate, but also just 
as a couple it brings everybody closer together and then with meditation sometimes doing yoga poses kind of just stretches uh, it's kind of like working out together but a little bit different something you can do uh, before bed or when you wake up in the morning when you're kind of easing into your day I think a yoga pose to kind of refresh um, and maybe have a little chuckle as well is is never gonna hurt you guys I just thought of another really fun a date night idea that you can do at home and that is some kind of singing to your favorite song, some kind of dance move, maybe like a karaoke type thing. Um, I think that could be really funny and really bonding and if you filmed it while well, you have material for life, you know what I mean? Then another tip is to learn something together. So whether that is a whole new skill, uh, I've recently discovered Masterclass, which is really fun. And there's a lot of uh, great content on there that people can watch and you could watch it together and learn something or watch it separately and discuss it. But in this case, because we're talking about date night ideas, choose something that you both want to learn about and watch that. Also a podcast, so maybe while you're cooking or something, you can put on a podcast that you both find interesting. And this will really help spark conversation starters at the dinner table or whatever. So I think that's really important. So that way you're learning something and not just letting your brain kind of go to mush and you're also bonding at the same time. Then if you're really at a loss for words because you spend so much time together and you've run out of things to say, you can get a little help from a little card. So I have these little ones here called Our Moments. And this is about uh, it's kind of, it's cards that um, have little conversation starters on them. So let me pick one randomly. I hope it's not, let's see what it says. Oh, okay. So you could pull this out of the table after having dinner or while you're having dinner or something if you need inspiration because let's be honest relationships take work and sometimes you need to work at them and this is what's something you've tried that you'll never ever try again so you know you get both people to answer the question uh, maybe you make it a game and you know depending on the answer they have to do something or make it into a truth or day type of situation I don't know maybe that's too much but something with little cards that kind of help you prompt into something that might really start a great conversation. Something else along the lines of kind of being a kid, playing games, is using sidewalk chalk uh, and drawing together and kind of just being silly and funny, maybe writing little notes or letters to each other and just being a kid again because we need to really go back to our inner child a little bit. I think, you know, kids are struggling through this as well but they also have an innocence about them that doesn't that means that they don't take on the worries of the world. And so if there are ways that you can channel your inner child, like drawing or uh, coloring in things or sidewalk chalk, something like that, um, I think that's really good for the soul and good for date night. So at the start of this video, I said to you that I wanted to discuss a framework that I've come up with to help you really focus in on your relationship and what is most important. And I hope that some of these activities that I've suggested, that they have elements of what I'm about to tell you in each activity, because that's really what it's about. So I call this method the ABC, super easy. I guess I'm on the child train and the inner child kind of thing here. And those letters stand for specific things. So A stands for attention. And this means giving your partner the attention that they deserve. As human beings, we want to be seen, we want to be heard, we want to feel valued, we crave attention. If you've ever been around a child who's behaving badly, often it's attention seeking, whether that's positive or negative. You know, attention is about spending time in someone's presence, really trying to get them to understand them and to make them feel valued. And so I think it's really important through these activities that we discussed or these ideas for date night that you are, you know, you're putting a bit more attention in than normal and that's really important. That's really awesome and that really comes across uh, to your partner even on a subconscious level. Then the B stands for balance. A lot of these activities that I've mentioned talk about doing things together balancing things, not making one person feel like they are always doing something and then resentful towards the other person that doesn't seem to be doing as much. In a relationship, it's always like a push and pull. Someone's always doing more of one thing and less of the other. It's, um, it's unlikely that you're gonna have this perfectly balanced and equal relationship, but it's important to realize that that you know you don't want someone to feel like they do everything because that's just the recipe for disaster. Then the C stands for connect. 
I also think it could stand for closeness or cuddling because date nights, come on, you're supposed to be connecting, cuddling, touching one another, being in each other's presence. And as human beings, we really crave connection, but we crave contact. We need to be hugged. We need to have our hands held, that kind of thing. Uh, you see this in children, they, they're all over you. They don't have a sense of personal space. They want to connect, they want to be touched, they want to be cuddled. Uh, and that is really, really important. And I think as we grow older, we often lose that. We forget that we need this. Don't cuddle or touch a baby, they don't thrive. You know, And it's, it's kind of the same thing. Once you've grown up, it doesn't mean that you stop needing that connection with somebody else. So throughout these date night ideas, make sure that you're connecting, make sure that you're having fun, make sure that you're laughing, uh, and that you are spending close time together. So those are the ABCs, attention, balance and connection. So make sure that you are doing that at least once a day with your partner so that you guys can feel strong, feel like a team, feel invincible, feel like you can weather any storm or virus or whatever it is because this is not going to be the last time that we are challenged. That's it for my date night ideas for quarantine. I'm sure there are a million more so if you can think of some good ones or you've done some great ones please leave them in the comments below. Who knows how long this is going to go on for. We need a lot of Date nights. Make sure that you like this video, that you hit the subscribe button, uh, that you hit the notification bell, and let me know what other videos you'd like me to do. I'm using this kind of stuck inside situation as an opportunity to develop new content for you guys, so I would love to hear your thoughts on what would be helpful and useful to you during this time. I know we're all kind of going through something similar, but also we have our individual stories, so I would love to know what you guys need. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!